dawn breaks in the Indian jungle. The long-tailed Langur monkeys, called Hanuman, safely feed high up on a tree. They are the police of the forest. Langurs using high vantage points, combined with their keen eyesight and sharp hearing, save many lives by warning others when danger stalks. All the excitement of jungle life has become a dream for Raju, the langur. He wakes up in the steel and concrete jungle of Delhi. Raju does not roam free in the forest. His master Gulsher Ali has trained him to provide a very special service to the people of Delhi. India is fast losing its forest cover, forcing some of its inhabitants to adapt to urban life. Delhi, the capital of India, has a human population of about 15 million, with thousands of vehicles. It is also home to an estimated 10,000 monkeys, which have adapted well to life in the city. This rhesus macaque is the most common Indian monkey, found all over India. The Latin origin of the word monkey means an old woman. The behavior of these primates often closely resembles that of humans. It was the tender relationship of female monkeys to their young that inspired Dr. Iqbal Malik, the eminent Indian primatologist, to study these animals. The number of urban commensal monkeys has increased very fast over the last 10 years. Today, 58% of Delhi monkeys are living in the colonies. That's why there's concentration, that's why there are problems. Monkey attacks and vandalism regularly grabs headlines in Delhi's leading newspapers. The city hasn't found an effective solution to this growing problem, except for very special security guards, the policing langurs. Raju and his master Gulsher have been contracted by a well-known government hospital to deal with its monkey menace. The arrival of the policing langur has an immediate effect. Hospital raids yield fruit and other edibles for the monkeys, but they often cause considerable damage in the process. <laughs> While Raju polices the hospital premises, the patients and the visitors have nothing to fear from the monkeys. But if he's not around, they will boldly approach people. Gulsher and Raju keep up a ceaseless vigil at the hospital. 
The strange long-tailed guard and its keeper shouts force the monkeys to withdraw to the roofs and cornices. Langurs are bigger in size, they are more scary looking and amongst monkeys, you know, there is a xenophobia. It's a new species which is trying to enter their colonies, so they are scared initially. तो जब से हमारे लंगूर आया हुआ है तो समस्या आट गई है आगे तरफ बंदर को निश्चय मुतरने नहीं देते लंगूर के लिए हम डोलते रहते हैं चारों गुलशेर is proud of the service that he's providing the hospital, but there are other places in the city where people are far from safe. Dipanshu, an 8th grade student in a North Delhi school, suffered a savage monkey attack without provocation. In just two days, he became the fifth monkey victim. He has just been lucky that he has been on the nose, on the ear, if he has been on the eye, that would have been a very, very great loss to the child. Would you like to know what is happening in the house? Would you like to know what is happening? or the claw, whatever, must have gone deep in and ripped it open. <laughs> According to me, that is in the danger area of the face and from here the blood supply goes directly to the brain. Monkeys are carriers of serious diseases like rabies and tuberculosis, which may be transmitted to victims during an attack. Unfortunately, in this case, the monkey could not be identified or captured. Bandarka hamare ko rabies status nahi pata tha. That is why we had taken all precautions to give the child anti-rabies for active and passive immunization plus antibiotics which were given IV. आंख बाहर आ गई। क्लास की सारी लड़कियाँ दिखाई देंगी अब तेरे को। मिस तो नहीं होगी किसी को। Sadly, the Panchu's family have to pay for his expensive treatment for no fault of theirs. The traumatic memories of attack still haunt the Panchu. School वालों को अपने campus को safe रखना चाहिए इस तरीके से उनका grill वगैरह लगा के या air gun से बंदर भाग जाते हैं। I know people are getting bitten. I know it's not people's fault. But people must be safe in their own homes. But shooting is not the answer. Answer is management. That is government's responsibility. It is a difficult task for the government to deal with urban monkeys because of the people's religious sentiments. Langurs and monkeys have very deep roots in the Hindu ethos. They're considered incarnations of the monkey god, Hanuman, who helped Lord Ram to rescue his consort from the demon king. Hanuman is a symbol of devotion to God, an extremely popular deity of North India worshipped by millions of Hindus. हनुमान जी के स्वरूप माने जाते हैं बानरों के सेवा भाव से करने से मनुष्यों के संकट का निवारण है शनिवार के दिन बानरों को चना खिलाने से गुड़ चना देने से शनि हमेशा शांत रहता है हनुमान जय श्री आई विल से इफ मंकीज आर बिकमिंग मेनस the cause are human beings. Because they're treated as gods, they're given food, 
they are corrupted they are they are made to think that they don't need to forage anymore so uh, they become bold they start entering they start demanding then the gods become pests Air Force Bal Bharati School in New Delhi was stormed every day by monkey troops that came from the neighboring temples. They used to enter the classrooms, stealing food and attacking children. अंदर आ गए थे क्लास में बच्चों को बहुत डराया था उन्होंने ब्लैक बोर्ड खराब किया था मैम के कागज फाड़ दिए थे To defend the children from monkeys and ensure their safety, the principal eventually engaged a langurwala and his two-year-old langur, Raja. They constantly patrol and keep a vigil on any monkeys trying to sneak into the school premises. Having a langur to police and chase away the monkeys has been very helpful. Ever since he has come we have hardly seen any monkeys around. The langurwala comes every day and he is now become a part of our family. It's a tiring job. Time for a short break and a bite. Theek hai. Sahi maza aa raha hai. क्योंकि हमारे बाबा दादा परदादा वगैरह यही काम करते चले आ रहे हैं सर तो इस वजह से सर हमें भी कोई दुख नहीं होता इस काम करने में हमें और सर खुशी मिलती है क्योंकि ये सर एक मेहनत का काम है हमारा और इसी काम के अंदर सर हम अपनी रोजी रोटी देखते हैं और यही हमारी सर रोजी रोटी है children, simian, the long tailed langur to have you know monkeys and lagoons in the school it is very amusing for them but we have been telling them that you can enjoy their presence but you still have to protect yourself raja is an extremely well behaved langur he has learned to be patient with these over excited children it is a great relief as a principal that i could provide the safety and security of the children on the school premises and save them from the monkey menace which has become so significant in delhi today it's really a danger which many children are facing all over the town policing langurs is a temporary thing it's not going to work Ultimately monkeys are going to come back to their territory which they are used to when you move the langurs away At the end of a hard day's work the langurwalas make their way home to a shanty town adjoining the railway tracks The animal entertainers like Gulshar cannot freely pursue their traditional vocation because of government stringent wildlife laws which forbid the keeping of wild animals but home is home gulshar and raju are greeted by the cooking fires and the smell of food raju is more than a pet he's also a provider Gulshar and his wife look after him like one of the family. 
हरी सब्जी का शौक बहुत है हरी सब्जी की तो बता सब लाती है देखिए तो फल हुआ कैसे केला हुआ खरबूजा वरबूजा हुआ कोई चीज भी ऐसे फल हुई दे तो बहुत शौक से रोटी बहुत कम खाते हैं Raju gestures as if to say he is hungry. The bond of food binds Raju to his family. Hum log kal andar jaate hain. Bhalu bandar khud hi na chahte hain. Hum log khud hi kaam karte hain bhalu. Teen bete mere. Ab main to sohna karwa de padh le ke thoda padhe ho jaye. Iski marzi jo bhi kaam kare langur wala bhi kare. Chahe ye kuch bhi kare. The number of policing langurs has steadily increased. It has now become a lucrative and well-organized business that doesn't require much qualification or investment. These tame monkeys and langurs are forced to live together. However, in the forest, the two species live separately but may sometimes use the same habitat. It's difficult to say if the lice passed from monkeys to man or vice versa man and animal are now about to settle down for the night as night falls the devotees gather at a roadside shrine to sing hymns in praise of the monkey god hanuman Sunday, a weekly off for Gulshar and Raju. They begin their day by washing. Here, by the railway yard, they at least don't face the water shortages that occur in many other parts of this city. Cleansing water flows freely. Gulshar knows that personal hygiene goes a long way to keep him and his animal healthy. The Langur police of Delhi have become a sizable force today because of the city's increasing monkey menace. Every morning. Langur patrols leave for their respective destinations. It may take Gulshar and Raju over an hour to reach their place of work. Raju has learnt well to travel on a bicycle and does not seem to mind the bumpy ride. He is very careful about his long dangling tail. If monkeys are sacred in India, so is the holy cow their presence on the roads adds to the chaos of delhi's traffic some motorists end up paying the price of religious sentiment while traffic police sort out the chaos on the roads the langur police force takes up positions on strategic buildings the parliament the president's house and the government secretariat all these important buildings are under the surveillance of policing langurs with the special task of dealing with troops of terrorizing monkeys 
These primates have thrived here ever since it was a beautiful forested hill known as Ricina Hill. The resident troops have caused havoc in these offices by terrorizing and attacking people, ransacking offices and even destroying vital documents. Windows were barricaded and a high frequency repellent device installed, but all attempts to drive off the monkeys failed. It was then that the government turned to the policing langurs. As soon as the langur patrols find monkeys, they swing into action. The rhesus monkeys are no match for the bigger langurs, with strong legs for powerful jumps, a long tail for balancing, and a large pair of canines for defense. A weak resistance is shown before the macaques move away to higher and higher ramparts of the building, leaving the officials inside to work peacefully. The encounters between the langurs and the monkeys occasionally become violent and bloody. As long as the policing langurs are there, the macaques will not dare to come down. Gulsher and Raju have successfully completed their mission for the day. While the langur intimidates smaller monkeys, it panics on meeting a bigger animal on Delhi's roads. It is difficult to convince the langur that the curious elephant means no harm. Pinky is the name of the policing langur on duty at Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport. The airport authority officials have been receiving complaints from some airlines as well as from cargo staff that the monkey menace is on the increase. Shankar with his young langur Pinky is an old hand at the game and is called in to help. यहां पे भी आते डोमेस्टिक में 320 में भी जाना पड़ता है कभी इंटरनेशनल कार्गो में भी ये तो टर्मिनल 2 तक कहीं भी भेज सकते हैं विद दिस मंकी मेनेस देयर वाज अ थ्रेट टू पैसेंजर सेफ्टी एंड एज़ वेल एज़ द एयरक्राफ्ट सेफ्टी इन केस द मंकी मैनेजेस टू गेट इनटू ऑपरेशन एवरी हेलो बर हेलो पिंकी डजंट फाइंड द अननेचुरल एनवायरनमेंट ऑफ हर वर्कप्लेस डिस्टर्बिंग बंदर हमारे हैंगर्स में आया करते थे और कभी कभी तंग करते थे नीचे भी और पब्लिक जो हमारे टेक्नीशियंस हैं या इंजीनियर्स भाई हैं उनको भी काम करने में दिक्कत आती थी लेकिन जब से लंगूर आया है तब से हमें भी दिक्कत नहीं है और काम करने में बिजी हो गया थोड़ा सा ये बीइंग एजाल क्लाइमर्स ओनली द लंगूर्स कैन इफेक्टिवली चेस द मंकीज हाइडिंग हाई इन द हैंगर्स we have always been using this uh, langur wala uh, which is quite a popular measure because this uh, does not cause any injury to the monkeys but at the same time uh, it scares away the monkeys and we deploy him for a period of 3 months then the monkeys come to know that he is uh, permanent and he's here to stay so they stop coming i haven't seen a more non scientific method of management of wildlife what are the langurs doing they're just pushing monkeys from one area to the other initially it was one langur in delhi then they became two then they became 10 then they became 20 now what so there's a chaos in monkey groups and that chaos is leading to more problems It's unfortunate that this likable and humanoid animal 
Bangkok should become so maligned in the eyes of the people of Delhi. Filming monkeys is not easy. While filming them, I was attacked. I ran for safety. My camera broke and I injured myself. I got four stitches. Thank God I was not bitten by the monkey. But luckily I was safe. सत्संग से आ रही थी और मेरे हाथ में केला था तो वहाँ से बंदर क्रॉस कर रहे थे सड़क और केला देखा तो मैंने कि बंदरों को देखते ही केला फेंक दिया तो एक बंदर ने तो वो केला ले लिया और बाकी जो बंदर थे उनको भी चाहिए था केला तो वो मेरे पीछे आए एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक दौड़े मेरे पीछे डर के मारे मैं भी भाग गया मैंने शोरबी में चाया और भाग तो मैं गिर गई Delhi's monkeys have become bold and aggressive. It's an irony that in some areas people are so scared that they lock themselves up like prisoners while the monkeys roam free. Solution will vary from area to area. Now if it is a school or a hospital or a office or a colony, no monkeys should not be there. They must be taken from there, they must be sterilized and they must be taken to a monkey sanctuary. Finding new homes for them, catching and shifting thousands of Delhi's monkeys is easier said than done. Even if this is eventually achieved, there's no way to stop other monkeys from taking their place. Neighboring states have refused to give shelter to Delhi's urban monkeys. Meanwhile, life carries on in India's capital as the seasons come and go. Sun, sleet or rain. The best solution that the city has found for its monkey menace is still the policing langur. <laughs>